Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to all the cool kids. I am Daisy Collins here of tsunamiros.net, and I would rather be doing something crafty, but I do need to get this part of the process done, which is actually taking photos of all the junk journals that I have made. I made about 15 junk journals, so I need to take photos of all of them. Um, so I thought we maybe could do that together. I don't know. I thought maybe y'all would want to see. So here, um, I have, like I said, I have 15 junk journals to take photos of. Hello to Martha. Welcome. Hola. Uh, so <clears throat> what I have here is my backdrop, which is just a 99 cent poster board. And I got some tape. So we're going to tape this up. I have a video on how, like an actual tutorial on how I actually like edit the photos and some tips for taking photos on black backgrounds and white backgrounds. Where is this? Okay, there it is. And um, also on how to edit it on a free editing program instead of using like Photoshop like me. So I have my poster board and then the whole setup up here is like my microphone and then my light up here. So, I think I'm going to have to tape it to this thing. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see. Get all this, like, dirt off of it. Right here. It won't hold on to that. <laughs> I don't think it would. Let's see. Maybe it kind of might. And then I have to tape it down here also. I have to tape it down here. Hi, Liz. From Florida. It's always sunny in Florida. Hi, River City Creative. Okay. So then it's not really held on by much up there, but down here... I'll have some tape, so then it looks good. I know it looks a little crooked on camera, but that's because it's kind of like far away. So again, this is just a 99 cent poster board from the dollar store, you know. From the dollar store. So, let me get a journal. And what I like to do first is take a photo of the cover. And I'm just using my little janky little... <laughs> sunny cyber shop and i call it cyber shot and i call it janky because it's like i don't even know how old it is maybe almost like eight years old and it's kind of busted and dusted a little bit like that's broken right there this little thing broke off here the little cover but it still takes 1080 <laughs> 1080p video and the camera resolution is really good so that's why i like to use it so, let's see, so you can kind of see what I'm doing with the camera. I think I need to put the, the flash, I don't know if I need the flash on or off. Okay, so that's the flash off. Let me see with the flash on. It does look a little better. Let's take it with the flash. And then kind of, I like to take different options. So that way I know, and it's upside down. Nice. Okay. Well, that's great. So now we got to do it again. <laughs> kind of leave it open a little bit off to the sides. I do have the flash on, so that does look good. And then whenever, like I said, I also have a video on how to edit the photo. So if you, if I have stuff here in the background, I can just kind of delete those on Photoshop. But I do have a video on how to do this um, <clears throat> on a free software. On a free website, I should say. And then Etsy lets you have 10 pictures. So I have 10 uh, 10. Uh, opportunities to kind of make the sale here as it's kind of said you know so you can I want to take a picture of it like this I kind of take the same photos of all of these junk journals 
and I, as, as you can see in the camera, I'm kind of shooting it up from a little bit above going down. A little bit of an eye bird's view because that makes it look a little bit fuller than if I took it like this. This makes it look a little bit fuller. Again, I'm trying to get it in the center. Okay, so now I have, so that was one shot was the journal like this. Another picture was the journal like that. So now I have eight more photos to take. So let's see. Uh, Carrie Ann, hello, and hello to Alice, and hi to Angel. So I kind of want to pick out, like, my favorite pages, the one that I think look the prettiest. I'm trying to flatten out the pages a little bit so that maybe I'm try I always try and lay it as flat as possible. It's obviously not perfectly possible all the time, but there are ways to get it. Uh, more straight and I have to kind of get in front of the camera <laughs> sorry I'm trying to get like a bird's eye view of the page there you guys can see it bird's eye view and I always get a couple of shots because there's always something wrong with a couple of them and then I can kind of pick of course I don't want to overwhelm myself with options see what other page I like. This page is pretty. Again, trying to take a bird's eye view here. And sometimes I even use my actual like webcam tripod to take the photos. So it's always at the same angle but this is fine too and then usually i have a little step stool but i left it at my mom's house and then my grandma really liked it <laughs> and i felt bad for trying to take it away from her okay i like this page here too And I do have my camera, I have my light up here. I have this light, and then I can't show the other lights, but I have another light off to each side. So my room is really nice and lit without a lot of light being directly on the journal. Try and avoid a little bit of shadowing, even though I'm kind of making my own shadows when I'm bending over, I'm trying to take the photo from up above. Let me see how that was. Okay, there's a good shot in there. Let me get back to it though. Um, again, this camera is really old. It's probably like eight years old. But um, it does take 1080p video, and it's got 16 megapixels, which I've gone to the store. Hey, Patricia, which I've gone to the store, and they really only gone up to 18 pixels, so I can't. It still works. The battery kind of drains fast, but I only I really make videos on my webs on my webcam now, so I can't really be too picky about it. It still works for taking photos. Again, trying to take the most like interesting pages that kind of show the most work, you know. Your favorite pages like this one with all these pockets is really nice. Again, I try and flatten it out as much as I can, which is also why I don't do journals that are like uh, three signatures, four signatures, really big journals, it's really hard to take photos of them. And this way they look nice and flat. See like that, that looks nice. Maybe like that, you can see a little bit more. That way I can, it just takes me a little bit to kind of clean up the background. And if you're just joining me, the background here that I'm using is literally just a poster board, just a 99 cent white poster board that I kind of taped up. 
So that's my little studio here. <laughs> and then, like I said, I could be using my little tripod that I have my webcam on to take photos, but here we are. It's okay. This looks pretty. I don't know if I could take a picture because it's not flat enough here. This is also why I like to make kind of flat embellishments. Let me see. I could. I have these like uh, big paper clips. And I really don't mind if they're in the picture. As long as it like shows it nice and flat. I don't think that it takes anything away from the photo. Again, I definitely try and get a lot of shots. I have my flash on, I have my room well lit. So that really helps. Okay, so that looks good. And let me take a picture of the back so that way they know that my name's on there. Don't want anybody to say they didn't know. One more. Okay. So that was uh, one out of 15. <laughs> one out of 15 journals, and it only took me, I don't know, 15 minutes. So I knew this would definitely fill an hour. <laughs> I'm like, I could definitely fill an hour taking pictures of 15 journals. So here's the next one we're doing. And I will be numbering them. My journals do start at a number. Like, I, I can't remember what number I'm on. But they do start at a journal, at a number. Okay, so that's the front of it. So now I'm taking photos of it kind of a little bit up above. Let me see if I could show you guys. So that you can kind of see the top part of this also. So it kind of looks, you get like the whole vision, you know? Okay. So I'm going to get a couple more. Trying to get it in the center. So now again, I pick uh, like one of my, some of my favorite pages. Oh, let's take the picture that's like this. I forgot. Take that photo again a little bit from the top. Yeah, that's a good shot. You can kind of see the top part of the journal and it looks nice and full. And then the job tonight will be listing all of these. <laughs> So when I list them, I like to um, put how many pages, how many journal cards, how many pockets, how many envelopes. Um, and then I also leave a link to the, I'm also going to leave a link to the video where I do the flip through. So that's going to be exciting. Trying to get this flat is not easy at all. Especially on these books, because these are good covers here. This has some strings everywhere. I love it. Again, trying to get it in the center. That looks good. It looks flat from on top, so it's okay. I feel like this type of background is really good for the journals. It kind of keeps from distracting from anything else. And I definitely, there's definitely a quality, a, a difference in quality between your phone and an actual camera. So you definitely want to have a real camera. 
if you want to show the quality in your work. It just has better, um, unless you have a crazy expensive camera, which I do not. I mean, phone, which I don't. So I got to use my camera. Let's see how those pictures were. Okay. Ooh, this one would be really cute to show this pocket. Again, I don't mind. Sometimes it helps to just like uh, paper clip one signature. It kind of flattens it out. Let me do that right now. With these giant paper clips here. kind of settles all the pages so it looks a little bit flatter now it's a little bit easier to work with okay just the smallest bit let me get another paper clip here it is I need another giant paper clip and I'm gonna paper clip the rest of the pages here And then it attempts to get it to lay a little bit flatter. It already kind of does. Kind of. I'm not saying it really does, but kind of. <laughs> it helps. Calm everything down. Okay. And I try and get it with a little bit of background around it. Not exactly up close, because I could always get it more up close um, in my editing software. It is very time consuming. <laughs> and to do 15 junk journals, you guys, I got to do 15 junk journals. Oh, my God. Okay. Pocket would look cute, maybe not. There's other things. Let's do this tag. That would be cute to see this tag. Okay. So again, it's kind of like pinning back hair, you know. I'm gonna pin back some hair. <laughs> That's just what I'm gonna call it. I don't know how to do hair, but I think. They pin it back. <laughs> okay, sorry, it's still a bit flatter, but you know what? These pages are not cooperating right now. Oh well, you'll just have to see the paper clip. You will just have to deal. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Show you guys. You can see it a little bit better there. You got to get a couple of shots because you don't want to have to go back and be like, ugh, none of those are good. Some of them I thought were good, but they're not. So definitely want to take a lot of photos. <laughs> More than you need. I know it's ridiculous. But I like things to look good. And like I said, if you want to show people that your stuff is worth it, you want to show them the product in the best light. So, this is what we have to do. This is cute here with the pocket. I think I'm just going to pin that corner over there because this stays pretty flat over here. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't even see a preview. That doesn't look good. Make sure you press the focus. 
let's see. Hmm. I don't know why it's not taking good pictures. I think it's on a different setting, maybe. Let me see. Yeah. Hmm. Let me turn it off. <laughs> That's my fix. Turn it off. Turn it back on. See what it says. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Did that change anything? Yeah, that looks better. Let me see. Does it really, though? Does it really? I think it does. It's hard to tell with these colors, but I think I see more detail than I did there. I don't know. I might be too obsessed with it. Okay. We are going to move on. Okay. And then I definitely want to take a photo of them all piled together. Probably going to change the thumbnail of this video. <laughs> okay. The page is kind of floppy. This page is a little bit better. Less floppy. I definitely suggest you take your product photos with some sort of camera, not a phone, unless you have a really, really good phone. Because these cameras, their only function is to take good photos. Compared to everything else, you know what I mean? That's just my only, that's my logic behind it. Okay. So I think, oh, and I want to take a picture of this. This looks beautiful. So we'll, I'll be doing a flip through video as soon as I get all of these listed. As soon as they're listed, I will literally do a live. <laughs> Probably, I, I'm, I don't know, I can't say it's going to be tomorrow, but I'm going to try to make it happen soon. So I literally take like a minimum of like three to five photos of every single page, but not every single page, like all the pages that I really like, that I feel are the prettiest of the land. <laughs> Let's see. I, don't know, I might even have enough photos already. This is a, getting a little fluffy. Hang on, oops. Gonna need a paper clip here to kind of hold it back so it lays a little bit flatter. That's good. Again, you want to take a couple photos. And you definitely want to leave some space around. If you can see here, I have some white space around the journal. You want to make sure you leave some white space around your journal. Oh, here's a foot. This one's pretty too right here. Let's do that. That looks good. Those are nice, vibrant colors. They really nice. They show up nicely. Okay. And then, like I said, let's show the back so that way they know that it says my name on there. That looks good. Let me get up. I'm up on my tippy toes, you guys. I am up. On my tippy toes. <laughs> I 
See, that looks good. Doesn't take much to get to take good photos, you guys. It's not enough to kind of take them on your table. For me, anyways, I like to have them look kind of more professional. But, I mean, other journals do sell still, too. Okay, so let me put this one away. And we move on to the next one. Should be this one right here with the nice cover that I made from a bunch of bed sheets. Okay, get to sit down for one second. Get all this stuff off the table. This is like little bits of particles of like glue that come out of my books sometimes. So I'm gonna take a picture of the journal showing you a little bit of the pages, kind of like a little peekaboo, you know, a little peekaboo. <laughs> That looks good. Already, that was a good picture. And all the light bulbs I have around my house, apparently it's like important to have all the light bulbs in your space be the same color. So like they could all be yellow or they could all be like this LED, yeah, a blue, white light. But it's important to have them all be the same color. It's so weird. I didn't know that before, but I see why. I definitely see why. That looks good. Okay, so again, I like to pick out my favorite pages inside. This is pretty. Let's take a picture of this. And I am leaned over my table. I could have used my overhead um, stand that I have my camera on for this, but um, I didn't. <laughs> so here we are. Working through the troubles. Okay, so I should be back to some more fun tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do the flip through video and then I'll probably I'll come live, I guess, on Wednesday to do some more. We're going to start a new batch of things. I think I said I was going to finish up some of the old paper scraps that I have before I actually start on new embellishments from like a new paper pad. I like to mix stuff too, like different paper pads and a junk journal, it's whatever. As long as they kind of complement each other. Again, this is just a white poster board that I have kind of like stuck to tape somewhere up here and stuck to tape down here. I have put this up against the wall and it works the same way. Um, but what matters is that you have nice lighting all around you and like I said, apparently it's important for all the light bulbs to be the same color. Like all my light bulbs are LED blue light, right? So at one point, I think I had some LED lights and some yellow lights and it just, it looked like a mess. And I didn't even know. I didn't even know I looked like a mess, but I did. But now I don't. Hey. Okay, so let's see. This page is beautiful. And I literally have to get on my tippy toes to take these pictures. From up ahead. I don't really do any close-ups. I just do up ahead. Overhead. Take a picture of this one. Okay, that looks good. Can I take several? And I like to leave space around the journal. It doesn't even have to be um, 
<coughs> what was I going to say? Doesn't have to be up close photos. Should be cute right here. Take a photo of that. Hi, Laurie. Welcome. I am back at it again. Oh my gosh, it is getting warm. Actually, let me go close the door. I'll be right back. So I have like one of my doors open with a screen on it so that my cat can look outside. Um, and I pretty much do that until it gets too hot that I have to close the door. Like right now. <laughs> like right now. It's probably in the 90s right now. My AC says it's 77 degrees in my room. So yeah, it was a little warm. <laughs> it was time. It was time. Let me get some water. The heat is here, you guys. It is finally here. It is a month. It's a month late. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy it, but like I've been telling you guys, it's been like too suspicious to enjoy as to why the weather has been so fresh. And it's still pretty fresh, honestly. This is not as bad as it should be. Again, I like to take several photos, at least three to five of each page that I choose. Because <clears throat> I'd hate to go have to go back and retake them all. Um, let's see. This page is cute with the tag in the background. The heat hit us in Florida like a slap in the face. I heard that, like, everybody has been, has been saying, it is so hot, it is so hot, and I'm just like, why is it not hot in Las Vegas? Like, that is not normal. It's normally hot everywhere, everywhere else, too, you know, but it's hot here a lot, and it has not been, and I've been really shook about the whole situation. Okay. course i always put the link to my uh flip through video for all of the journals so that way they can see all of the details and the flip throughs you know i pull out all the pockets i pull out, show you all the journal cards i tell you everything about the journal so that's also important to put in your etsy um listing or whatever store you use. I know most of us use Etsy though. So I like to get the up above shots. Let me show you. You can kind of see. It takes really good quality. I'm glad I'm further north. I can't deal with the super hot weather, 75 to 80 degrees. Seems hot to me. Yeah, you wouldn't last here. <laughs> you would not last here. We usually get a... Well, in Las Vegas, in Nevada, in Arizona, it's even worse. But in where I live, I get about one week of 115 degrees solid. Like one entire week in July is 115 degrees solid. So yeah, it gets a it gets a little hot. It's just a little hot, just a little bit. <laughs> but I know Arizona, Arizona's weather stays at 115 degrees. That's insane. So I feel like I'm still okay. <laughs> like I'm still okay. Okay, let's go on to the next journal. We're done with this one. Oh, I didn't show the back, right? Okay, I didn't show the back with the name. I want to make sure everybody knows that I have my little name here. 
you know, you know, I want to know. It's just, it's just my little business, you know. <laughs> One more. Okay, that looks good. 93 here now. Oh, my God. I don't even know how hot it is. Let me check. Let me check the weather. Here's the next journal we're going to do. Let me check the weather. I know I want to know. It's 91 degrees. That's why I felt kind of warm. 91. It's only going to be like 95 this week or something like the highest this week. Okay, so let's take our pictures like that. I like to show a little bit of the lace. You can kind of see a little bit of the top. You can see all the goodies, you know? That's a good one. Again, I will take several photos of the same thing. I like to have a little bit of a variety sometimes, and some of the flash works better. I don't know. I can't explain it. That's why I do several. <laughs> and then we're going to do one with the pages kind of open like this. So it looks like, ooh, surprise. AC. I'm in British Canada. BC Canada. Ba what is BC? Oh, my gosh. Why can I not? Basic Canada, and it, I like it around 24C. I don't know how you can manage, but I guess it's what you're used to. Yeah, I am used to this. I am literally used to this. I'm from Southern California where the weather is great, but I have been out in Las Vegas longer than I was out there. So I am, you get used to it, but I still complain about it. <laughs> I will still complain about it every day. And I don't like to go out during summer. No, don't ask me to go out during the day. We can hang out after like 8 o'clock because I'm not leaving the house <laughs> earlier than that. Let's pull these little ladies out. Maybe they'll look nice out here. And it'll look cute. Put them a little bit out. Right above Washington State, British Columbia. Okay, okay. I was like, what does that, what does that mean? <laughs> okay, get these pretty pages on here. That looks nice. A couple more. I like to take the photos again, like I said, from above. I don't take any close-ups. I don't know. That's just not what I do. I just take from above <laughs> of, like, the prettiest picture, of the prettiest ones I could find. Or my favorite, kind of like my favorite pages. Like, this one's really nice. Take it again. That looks good. Hey, Rhonda. I work outside in this Texas heat. Oh, no. That's the worst. My dad works out here, too. He works outside. He's uh, he's in gardening. But he does not, he does not like working indoors. I don't know. He's into it, I guess. Let's take a little bit better. Rhonda in the house. Yes. Okay. What else we got? What else do we got? This is pretty. That looks lovely. I'm going to try and take all of my photos today. Edit them today. And I might be able to... um get uploading tomorrow <clears throat> getting them on my Etsy shop tomorrow 
Probably, unless I work double time today. I don't know. We'll see. Probably not because I have plans afterwards and when my husband gets home. Um, so I'll probably get to listing them tomorrow. I'll edit all the photos today. I do have a video on how I edit my photos and how you can edit your photos on a free website, on a free editing website. Um, and I'll link that in the description below. I don't have the link on me right now, but I will link it um, after the video goes live. So you guys can check that out if you haven't seen it already. Again, Etsy lets you have 10, list 10 photo listings, so I do like to make sure those are all filled up with photos. So I probably take more photos than I should, but that's okay. Bye, Carrie Ann. I can't, I don't know. Okay, so I went to, I keep saying this, but I did went to, I did go to Texas in November. Ugh, this string. I did go to Texas in November, so it was like the first week of November, and it was still humid. Oh my god, I'm probably I need to go back in the fall. Probably wait till like December because it's gonna be freaking less hot. <laughs> I can't deal with the humidity, you guys. I am used to flat. I mean flat. I am used to dry heat all day, all night, no problem, you guys. You know what I mean? Like no problem. Bring on the 115 degrees dry heat no problem i cannot live with humidity i oh my gosh i complain way too much for that <clears throat> for all that trust me way too much okay that looks good else this looks good but i don't know if i can take a picture of it no it kind of flops over it's kind of hard to take photos of two signatures and more it's just hard to get them to be flat at all huh, it popped <laughs> okay Maybe let's try smaller segments. And then over here. That looks good. See, now it's nice and flat. I don't really worry about you seeing the paper clips. You don't see them on all the photos, so you know that there's not they're not like just there <laughs> all the time. Okay, okay so this will go here. I'm trying to clean it up a little bit. So it's not so fluffy. But it's not working out for me. Oh, wait. I could do it over here. Okay. This will work. I'm going to make this work. There we go. There we go. Nice and as flat as it's going to get. Right? The jumbo paper clips. That's, what I, that's what's up. They are so helpful in a lot of things. And I'd rather have the, the paper clips than, like, my fingers. That's just me. That's just me. Don't worry about little old me. <laughs> okay. A couple more. Oh, my God, because I can't get over it. They're on, they're on, uh, I bought them on Amazon. You just look up jumbo paper clips on Amazon. But I actually originally got them at Ikea. I got a pack of them at Ikea originally. Okay, so there's that journal. 
So it's only taken me about 45 minutes to take photos of four journals. <laughs> so, you know, we're trucking along. <laughs> And that's a 4 out of 15. <laughs> of course, 4 out of 15. Try and keep it, show its little fullness there on the side. I'm going to try and take pictures here of the top. Let's get all these up. Let's see. It's already all the way down. Okay. Just want to see it looking pretty. Hello, Karina. Welcome. Again, trying to get this up here and this here and the cover. Trying to get into this. As one of my favorite drag queens would say, trying to get into this fantasy <laughs> of this journal here. So... It's okay if my computer shows over here because I'm just going to delete it anyway. So, trying to get into the, the front, the top part, and oops, the side. <laughs> oh, Ikea. I love Ikea. It's not the closest to me, but it's not. I don't need to take a boat to get there. It's true. And again, I do have videos for you guys on how exactly I edit my photos and how you guys can edit your photos using a free website um, that I show you a whole like little tutorial through the website and everything. I love Ikea. I wish I could pronounce the name of their stuff though, but I can't. <laughs> They keep it real original. I love it. Okay, so let's get on to our favorite pages here. This book is a little... I kind of train them to be closed so they don't know, you know. They're a little new at it. Okay, again, I try and keep plenty of space around the journal white. And then also I have my room really nice and lit. I have lights that way, lights this way, and light above. I have a lot of lights because my room doesn't is not a lot doesn't have a lot of light, so I kind of have to create it. You could also alternatively like go outside. So you can use natural light. But this works for me here. It's like a little cage of white light <laughs> that I create for my videos. Also kind of work for my photos of my um, journals. So that's good. That's good to know. Let's see if we can take a picture of this. And yeah, that looks good. Awesome. Okay, let's take a picture of this one. Okay, try and keep these a little flat. It's a little difficult. It's a little difficult, but it works for the photos from above. Doesn't exactly look flat, but on the photo, it looks good enough. Okay. Let's take a picture of this one. That looks good. Let me see if I can get the little cards to kind of show. No, let's not. <laughs> let's not. Okay. Those look good, nice and bright. That looks good. Okay, so moving on. This looks like another good page to take a picture of. Did 
that looks good and again this is just a poster board you guys 99 cent poster board that i glued that i uh put some tape on over here and tape above you can just put this up against the wall and just kind of tape it and that'll work for you in case you don't have like a solid white background in your house or anything like that this works better than trying to put it like on your wood grain floor or on your carpet or on your table it just looks a little bit more clean that looks good okay Ooh, this page is beautiful with this this i love these uh book page pockets that i learned to make from patricia vera montez they work wonderfully and they're so beautiful i need to make more okay I don't know if I can take a picture of this. Let's see if it'll work. And again, I suggest you use a camera instead of your phone because it's much better quality, much better resolution, unless you have a really nice, expensive phone, which I don't. I'll admit, <laughs> I do not. <laughs> but I do have this hundred dollar camera that I got like eight years ago <laughs> that's what I got okay and this camera is busted look at this it's like coming off right here I needed to buy a new camera but I've just been just you know working with it it's broken over here too you know it's a little bit of a mess it's old you know I've dropped it <laughs> the only real problem is that the battery oh i didn't take a picture of the last page the only real problem is that the battery um dies fast now when i'm filming but when i'm taking photos it seems to be okay because i've basically had it on now for like an hour just like almost solidly on and the battery has barely budged but when i film can really only film about 15 minutes at a time now which it used to be about half hour at a time so i'm glad i got my webcam so i just use this solid lead to take photos now and actually sometimes when i take a video of me outside i'll take that camera <laughs> okay so let's journal number five so I think I'm going to leave you guys with that because I'm going to do the rest of them. But I feel like I need to eat a little bit of lunch. I need a little bit of sustenance. <laughs> so I'll be back tomorrow, you guys. And we'll be doing something more crafty because I'm going to spend the rest of the day other than the one hour that I'm going to go live. I'm going to spend the rest of the day putting these up for sale. So I hope you guys uh, join me tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be here doing something crafty related, not like today, but I really had to get going on this. And the only way I really concentrate on things is if I go live, <laughs> it kind of forces me to concentrate on things. So I want to thank everybody for joining me today. I know it wasn't the most exciting live or topic or subject, but you know what? It's something I have to do in order to get these journals sold. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Saturday time. We'll do some more fun stuff. Thank you to Car Karina. Thank you to Lori. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, Rhonda, nice to see you, of course. And Carrie Ann. And to Shari, of course. To Martha. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with me. I will see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'll leave the link down below to uh, that video of me editing the photos. So peace out, you guys. Have a good day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.